Audio Jungle. at the sub-regional levels has faulted the entire democratic process called on the ECOWAS parliament to provide intra-party policing strategies to curb political violence in the region. Speaking at a panel of discussion on security forces and inclusive, peaceful democratic elections in the ECOWAS region consolidation at the ongoing high-level parliamentary seminar in Winneba, Ghana. The panelists said politics at all levels has been polluted by mostly unemployed youth aimed at disrupting and truncating the election in order to come out victorious without minding the will of the people. Adding that, the police with its determination to achieve at least 100% result in election management always retired frustrated due to the party's political talks, thus appealing for more commitment of all stakeholders in the ECOWAS member states to eradicate crises that emanate from election results. According to the panelists, Political rallies should be discouraged, hence town hall meetings for campaigns should be introduced so as to counter crowds for effective policing. They further noted that one of the major causes of the crisis in regional democracy is the indirect change of constitutional power, which is targeted at elongated powers of office orders, noting that political leaders must obey their country's electoral rules with the proper legal framework in a way to address the ugly trends thereby restoring the regional democracy. These successes are huge challenges. Those challenges, I need not to emphasize, but we highlight one or two. So the ECOWAS parliament will see it and uh, ponder it to heart and see how best solutions will come from the debate that will surmount those challenges so that we can have a better Africa. Any person who sustains injury is a cost and is something that if it's avoidable, it must, it must be. So that at the end of the day, everybody needs to achieve a piece of a God-given destiny. And nobody's taking short of his life because of an election. But the beauty of it is that with the National Election Spirit Task Force, the next level that we go is to then go through the process of policing the elections during the campaigning period that we normally call the pre-election period or the pre-D-Day pre -D period and the election period itself and then the post-election period. Interestingly, during the pre-D-Day period, we take all actions at all levels to ensure that the policing of the election at that stage is so holistic. <laughs>